Hello, we just made a game in channel. Go check it out. It's really fun. We're playing Baldur's Gate 3 right now. So go over there and subscribe if you want to watch me train and read some fictional people. All right, thank you. Enjoy the video. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to my channel. My name is Rin, and we are canoodling here today to speak about a scammer who is also an artist. A scam artist. First, with his 60k little blind moles, bro. We're growing very, very fast. Is it scaring me? No, I was born for stardom. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all your nice comments. I love spilling the tea with y'all. Y'all are quite cool, my little moles. If you don't know, Little Blind Moles is what I call my followers here on YouTube because as artists, when you put a blank piece of paper in front of us, it's like we've never seen why we fucking wanted to draw in the first place. So we're Little Blind Moles. Now. The topic of today's video. It's quite amazing. I'm here to spill the tea and snatch the wigs. Today, we will be talking about Elenast. Y L N A Y V. Elenast. It's on the screen. I don't know. <coughs> they are an artist on the internet who does speed paints and sells brushes. And of course, that's kind of their shtick. That's their thing. They've got 600k followers on the ground, but I'm not quite sure if people know them or not because the most interesting thing about this person is how uninteresting they are. And that's okay, you know? Not everyone has to be a differently different freak. Fellow Gen Zers, it's okay to be basic. But as you may have gathered from the title of this video, them being basic is not why we're here today. We are canoodling to speak about some real tea. Although I do not fuck with the idea that one art style is better than another, objectively, I do have some subjective opinions, you know. And um, their art style is one that many, many other artists don't think very highly of. The Instagram live lips of 2016, the calamity of creative expression so photorealism and just realism for the sake of realism is regarded as quite a lackluster art style by many artists because the artist is not making a lot of creative choices themselves they're kind of just copying an image now don't get me wrong though they still have a tremendous amount of skill but so does a craftsman who's following a blueprint do you know what i'm saying and though photorealism is shared on by artists with your mainstream crowd it's the bell of the ball you know people who are maybe just getting to drawing maybe they've been bamboozled by a photo that was actually a drawing and they've been awestruck ever since your mainstream draw usually thinks that the more realistic a photo is the better and that all artists are constantly striving for that this is their audience people who don't know a lot they've probably not drawn a lot keep that in mind while we move further with the story <laughs> now this artist is an entrepreneur above all else. Every single post that they have will promote their brushes and their course. And I get it. We all have to promote stuff from time to time. It's how you tell people about the other cool stuff that you're doing. But when every single description is a copy-paste ad for stuff that you're selling, it's, it's a bit of a bore. Coupled with the, with the kind of not very creative art style in the first place i'm feeling tired and i need to take a nap because of this capitalist bombardment and that will be all right get you back you know what her selling point is drawing realistic portraits quickly accurately and easily i guess and she's proving her skill by showing process video let's let's take a look they're, they're quite a marvel one could say that they are magic basic egg shape, we'll add our little ears here, then we're gonna draw some big bushy eyebrows like that. I mean, at a first glance, as someone who's drawn before, that, that process seems a bit too, a bit questionable, a bit too unnecessary. Why are drawing the eye sockets and the nose cavity? That's underneath everything. Why are, why are we doing that? Why are we wasting time by drawing shit like that? Why are we drawing the... But, but I, I guess your questionable methods produce undeniable results. Let's keep watching. That actor, uh, Eugene Levy. Whoop, whoop. What was that? Computer and Hans. Girl has a brush that can draw hella colors at once. Could it be 
the mythical rendering brush. Girl, girl. I'm sure it was just a sleep up, you know. Maybe they just forgot to uh, to record, and then they had to make a video, and you know they reproduced it. Maybe, I'm sure it only happened once. Let's let's look at another one. Now for the sake of being thorough, we're gonna look at a couple more. Don't you love when you can draw perfectly perfect lines like that, avoiding the face and everything? You may be like, well, the hair must be behind the face, that's why she could avoid it. I mean, it shouldn't be. Also, don't you love when you can draw perfectly rendered hair ends like that? Yeah, that's how you do that. This one is a favorite of mine. They reveal the nose for a second and they're like, no, not yet, not yet. Don't ever disrespect Margot Robbie like that again. This video is for her. I mean, the rendering brush is amazing. There truly is nothing like it. You can make a perfectly rendered eyebrow every time, perfectly rendered noses every time, perfectly rendered lips every time. It's so fucking amazing. I keep telling you guys, you need to get the rendering brush and then all of your art struggles will be over. And this is a bit of a irrefutable evidence, right? I mean, some of you may not be convinced. Let's keep investigating. Let's go to YouTube. Oh. So much evidence. First of all, keep in mind, this is the layout of the Procreate app. So you got uh, the brushes, the smudge, and then the erasers, right? So let's take a look here. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So they open the brushes and then they're like, oh, no, I actually, I actually want to paint with the eraser today. I want to do the impossible today. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, why would you want a brush when you have the fucking erasers? You almost, you almost miss the erasers there, girly. You have nothing to do with the brushes. You probably never fucking use them. Oh, oh. Again, again, just just having a tease, just looking at the brushes for a second before going to the erasers where it's their place. Also, do you notice something interesting? Do you notice the fact that there's no cuts in this video? However, the colors keep changing and they're not changing and they're not picking any different color. Oh, oh, they changed again. Ah, that's a magic trick. This is a uh, an artist who has done a deal with the devil or some shit how is this magic happening what's going on right now i want to do that i want to change them with the power of my noggin i want to not have to pick them and think about them oh my god look at those expert strokes though it really doesn't look like they're erasing anything oh oh look at that perfect line on the hair right there that's amazing only the rendering brush guys you need to get it it's only 9.99 oh oh i don't you love when you can draw perfect highlights dare i say nobody moved hmm i dare say nobody moved and nobody laughed and nobody clapped if you haven't caught on already let me illuminate you they're not painting they're simply erasing a layer that's on top of the painting so they are faking their process also, sometimes when they're doing the strokes, the strokes that are revealed are in another direction, which obviously it's because they're erasing. Bit of a false advertising, babes. That's a big no no. It's all fake. It's all smokes and mirrors. All I'm seeing is Il Parti Product. Il Parti Product Scavern. Rivercock Scavern. You know? It's like, what the fuck are you doing? What's happening right now? I'm not learning anything. So if you've drawn anything, you know that their supposed process makes no fucking sense. They're just doing shit that looks cool for the for the camera. Why would you draw the socket and the, the, the nose hole and then draw the eyeball and the nose in there? Like that's so much extra work. As an artist, you never want to do extra work. We're fucking lazy. So the process is fake. Are the drawings fake? <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing about that. All I'm gonna say is that you can obtain very similar results if you input any photo through a artistic filter on a fucking photo editing app. Just like this. 
Pixar opened it up artistic. You've just made art. And luckily, I found the exact same photo that they're using for one of their videos. We're only missing some saturation and a jaw shaving surgery. Ain't that fucking neat. Also some moist highlights. Could also be real. We have no way of knowing. But these processes are 100% fake. They're faker than the sense of freedom of our mother world. And that's what's selling the brushes and the course. Which is $100 for the basic. By the way, $100. But how are you doing this? It seems so fucking believable. Turns out, you can paint using erasers too. If you simply layer a bunch of colors and gradually erase them, it gives the illusion that you are painting. But we are only revealing our previous work. Let's go on a field trip. First of all, let's do the jaw shaving surgery and let's add some moist highlights. Then we gotta give the impression of forethought. We gotta seem like we've been planning this shit for ages. We gotta do a fucking sketch of the hair. But it's really easy to do that. We're just gonna trace the hair that we already got. We don't need to take unnecessary journeys. Then we gotta keep doing this subterfuge, this heist of the mind, this assault on the senses. We we gotta we gotta fake some bold boldness. We gotta fake a little bulb, a little egg. We have got to snatch that wig. You just gotta color pick, you know, from the body, from the from the shirt over there, from the background. Just throw some Gaussian blur over all that, just for good measure. We wanna add a middle step in there, though. We're gonna duplicate the image and we're gonna smudge the hair. We don't wanna see too much of the random ring when we first erase. It's gonna it's gonna raise some question marks. You know, also the brush is really important. You want a brush that looks kind of like hair. The hair brush could do that. It's magic. You don't know. And that's it. Just start erasing. Look at that. It's fucking magic. Oh my god, I'm doing the hair so quickly. We gotta add the shadows now. Add the shadows. Oh my god. Also the highlights. Add the shadows and the highlights in one go. This is too stupid to notice. Come on. Obviously, you wanna try and be a little careful here. You know, take as many takes as you need. Preserve the illusion. I'm not gonna do that because I'm an artist, not a professional scammer. I don't give a shit. I'm just showing you how they're doing it. And that's it. You've drawn. So everything is fake, smoking mirrors. While doing research, I have discovered that there's been a select few who are knowing about this person. And when one of them tried to comment on it, they got demolished. The number of replies is in the hundreds. And they've deleted some of them. Some of them that were immediately incriminating them and explaining what they were doing. Does that not look incriminatory? It's a bit incriminatory. If that was not enough for you, they are also a thief. You are a full on thief. They be stealing art of other people. So they're doing realistic portraits most of the time, but sometimes they've got some um, stylized images and they're all stolen off of our station. A simple Google image search is going to prove that very quickly. So that's just not very professional and not very ethical, is it? But you're so angering as an artist to see that. What the fuck? Why are you doing that? Now, why is this such an issue? Even though the process is fake, they may still have the skills to teach and make brushes that are worth the price of $10 a pack. They are making us believe that they are absolutely can make this and since you absolutely know that they can absolutely make these pieces you are gonna buy it but you're not signing up for a 50 50 chance you know what i'm saying fast advertising ain't cool at least just the fact that there is a course is a red flag for me whenever i see an artist with a course come on now there's so much hubris in a person who's got a course. Do we actually need courses when there's cynics out there? If you want a place to learn anatomy other than yours truly, go for cynics. And they've got free lessons on their YouTube channel. It's amazing. It's really good. It's really short and concise. So having a course is kind of a red flag for me, first of all. Then having 10 packs of brushes that, that have got hella brushes in them, 50 stump brushes. Why do you need all of that? Why do you have 26 favorite brushes? Who the fuck uses 26 brushes for one painting? You don't need to use more than 
I don't know, five. I know people who use only one. Using 15 brushes for one piece, it's gonna make that piece look a bit um, hot and bothered. It's been scrambled. It doesn't look concise when you have 11 different textures in a single piece. So just stick to a couple of brushes. When I was preparing for this video, I had in mind to buy these cards. But as I kept watching the videos and discovering how fucking obnoxious they are in, in lying to their fans, I just don't want to give them any money, right? But what about their brushes? Are the brushes any good? The brushes are uh, $10 a pack from what I've seen. Let's look at what the people are saying about the brushes. Okay, let's have a look while they're drawing light skin miles in the background. I just got your my favorite brushes and mixed screen brushes and cannot wait to use them. How do you like them? I'm debating if I should buy the brushes or her class. I feel that. That's why I've been holding off by a few of the brushes were $9.99 each. But now I think I should have waited and gotten one of their courses so I could understand how to use each brush. So, so, so the people are quite confused about the brushes. And also the little blind mole who tipped me about this person because I, you know, I would not be caught dead on this fucking page. They wanted me to expose them because their friend bought a brush pack and apparently it's just drivel because they're using the brushes for erasing they're good brushes if you want to erase shit and make it look like you're painting it so what's the, the morale what's the what's the parable here what have we learned don't trust the internet there's sirens trying to drown you this is just a liar that i don't want you to waste your money on you know if there's anything to be learned from this situation is that you should not fucking trust shit that you see on the internet. It's easier than you think to fake stuff like this. First of all, don't trust Elon Musk. Elon Musk, Elon Blaivo, Elon Musk, Elon Musk. Don't don't trust them. Don't trust them. Don't follow the. Don't buy their shit. Don't buy their shit, please. That's all the time we have for today. I love spilling some tea with you. We've done some FBI work today, my little moles. Please subscribe, like the video, comment. Let me know your thoughts about this. I love reading the comments. I would like to say that I read all of them, but there's been so many. I uh, thank you so much, but there's been so many. I can't. I'm sorry. I read all of the ones that I see. <laughs> thank you for watching. Bye bye. I'm having so much fun right now. If this motherfucking shirt would stop riding up my titties, God, it's hard having great tits. <laughs>